Welcome, 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 Nicola Valley and the community of Merritt. Welcome to Nicola Valley Talk, presented to you live from experiencenicolavalley.com and Tourism Nickel Valley. And this week, I've been asked to be a guest host to the Nicola Valley Talk because it is a special occasion that we are having on this episode, which we will get into. Um, I am broadcasting live from self-isolation, and so are our guests. Uh, we are practicing physical distancing, and what we're going to be doing today is talking to four very special people. But before we do on this live show is I want to say one thing for sure. Down below us is the comment section. So during the show, you can make comments, and then what we're going to do is it is a family show, so let's keep it that way. Um, once you do comments, we will be sharing those on the screen. A little bit of a background about Nickel Valley Talk. What we're doing here is we're reconnecting the community with our small businesses, our events, our nonprofits, and the special personalities within our community. So every week, what we're doing, and not me because I'm a guest host, but we do have some bloggers coming on that will be your hosts. Every week, we invite the small businesses, nonprofits, events, and tourism ventures. We invite them onto the show. And what we want to do is hear how they're doing pre COVID, COVID, post COVID, what ideas they're doing, what struggles they're doing, and also to inform you, the public in the region, about some of our businesses here. And we do have a lot coming on every week. And these are the businesses you deal with every single day. And they've been giving to the community for years, if not decades. And I think now it's a little bit back of payback where we're going to sort of support them, hear their stories, bring them back to the forefront of the community. This week is a little different. This week, we are delighted, pumped, I am, we're pumped to invite four very talented, great personalities four new storytellers and bloggers to the Experience Nickel Valley program. Now, the reason this is really exciting is because we've all heard the stories out there, of what's going on. The beautiful thing is we've been moving forward the best we can in these crises by bringing in these talented people to come and tell your stories and to come up with programs that allow us to still do what we love to do which is promote the Nicola Valley and the region around it so that's where this talk show comes into effect so every week follow our Facebook page the Instagram page the Twitter page every week we tell you who's coming up and if it's your favorite store you got to come every month we tell you the lineup for the whole month so you're not going to see that if you don't follow our Facebook page and your business your favorite business is going to be coming on and they need you to cheer them on, okay? That's my little blurb, my little community message. So let me start with our introductions. So what we do have is we've got these four little bloggers, and I'm not going to spoil their story. I'm not going to tell you what they're going to blog about because they're going to tell you. They're going to tell you, and you're going to get to know these fine people. So let's start off. We're going to introduce you to our first guest. Let me welcome Jennifer Shell and Kyle Shell. Welcome to the show, guys. Hello, Greg. Hi. So now what we're going to do, we're going to bring on the wonderful Suzanne Snyder. Welcome to the show, Suzanne. <laughs> and our fourth blogger and our fourth guest to the show tonight to help us along is Mr. Don Lowen. Hello, Don. Welcome to the show. All right, thank you and good evening. Excellent. So now we have all our four new bloggers, and I am so pumped to see your lovely faces. It's as if we haven't talked in at least a week. So that's good to see you. So, guys, welcome to the big, the big show. You're at the big show today, and um, we're gonna get right to it. And we're gonna start asking you some uh, some questions here. I think what we'll do is we'll start with uh, Kyle and Jennifer. If you two would start why, well, please provide us a snapshot into who you are, what you do, and how you like to spend your free time. <laughs> uh, my name is Kyle Shell, uh, as Greg has said. Uh, who I am? 
Well, a lot has been a, a family focus for us uh, over the last few years. We've been married, I can tell her story a little bit as well, uh, 14 years now almost. Uh, over that time period, we have uh, seven children together. So uh, family is, is a focus for us, very family-centered. Now, in terms of, mm -hmm. I guess, me, a little bit more about me, now I've started my own business a little over a year ago, doing financial consulting, uh, and that has taken up a lot of my time. But when I do find the free time, uh, I'm generally spending it uh, going on walks with the family or uh, hitting up a golf course, uh, trying once a week, uh, <laughs> Trying to teach my children uh, as well as something I did younger, and I, I want to teach that to them. So we've enjoyed that last year here in Logan Lake. How about you? How about me? Well, okay. My name is Jennifer, and I am a large family mom of seven, married to Kyle here, as I had a brief introduction already. Um, Kyle and I, we homeschool our children. They are ages 12 to 20 months. Um, I guess before I was an esthetician, um, before I was a mom, I was an esthetician, so I specialized in like beauty and skincare and makeup and nail care and things like that. So I tend to chat a lot about that. Um, but I spend a lot of my time at home um, cooking and cleaning and organizing, but also trying to cultivate like a beautiful home atmosphere with our children. Um, if I had free time, uh, I think I, I think, I think I would love to go on long walks. I do actually like to go on long walks. I do love to go out for coffee. I love to paint and garden, um, mm. and like craft home decor items. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do. She's kind of the manager of the home. Manager. Home manager. Really? <laughs> so Don, so many Don, parties. why don't you step up, <laughs> Mr. Don, and tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, yes, uh, good evening. My name is Don Lowen, and um, I'm a, a longtime resident of the Nicola Valley. I was actually born here in Merritt. Um, and I started to um, to build saddles and um, in 1995. So I've been I've been working here in the Nicola Valley doing building saddles for cowboys and people all over the Nicola Valley as well as across Canada and into the United States, international, I guess. And uh, I've had some health issues, so I've, I've been able to uh, take my business to my home, where, and that's what I do right now. So I've still been building saddles. And uh, spare time, well, now that's a tough one. We, <laughs> we, uh, as the, as the, as the uh, shells have said, we have six children, so we're not sure what spare time really means. But uh, we like to go camping. How's that? Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Don, and uh, welcome again to the show. And now what we're going to do is we're going to give the stage over to Suzanne. See, Suzanne, you seem to have lost your audio. As Suzanne figures it out, keep talking, Suzanne, and uh, when I hear your voice, we'll uh, we'll bring you back in. So let's do with the next one. So again, guys, again, Facebook comments below. Welcome to the new bloggers. We've got some people saying hello to you guys. So what did you want, why do you want to be a blogger? We'll start with you, Don. Why do you want to be a blogger and what attracted you to the uh, e &B program? Uh, well, it, it was a couple of years ago when I was interviewed. And, you know, I, to be honest, I didn't think too much about it. But And then uh, they came back to me and said, uh, hey, you, this thing is really going wild. And um, so we, we did the awards program. And I'm actually a pretty good storyteller. I've if any anybody that knows me knows that I like to tell stories, Excellent. and um, in the hospital I was writing down some cowboy stories, and I some of them were published and things, and I thought, well, I could do this. Yeah. And uh, so yes, it's been a quite a learning curve how to learn to um, manage the keyboard and all of the <laughs> cues that come with it. But uh, no, I I'm really going to enjoy it. I think and yeah, moving on with it. Excellent. You've got your first blog already done, don't you there, Mr. Lowen? Yes, yes. Yeah. And I chose a familiar subject to get to familiarize myself with the program. And then once I get that down pat, I'll launch into some uh, other things like 
working on the ranches when I was a kid. Yep. Douglas Lake and things like that. But those will, those things will come with time. So, Mr. Kyle and uh, and Jennifer, uh, we'll bring you in here. And what what yes. what brought what attracted you to the ENV program? You can start this time. Okay. There you go. Well, I guess. Okay, I'll start first. I I think I got really attracted to the program because um i think just like the way kyle would describe like you having conversations with him and things like that and it was always something that i'd always wondered about and thought like huh i could probably do this you know it's been a desire of hers for yeah. quite some time it's it's kind of been a dream actually <laughs> it has She's been down playing that a bit. I, I am, I am. Well, that, you're, you're I'm perfect super excited because yes this is a dream so I think I was doing something like they call like micro blogging and that was um, using my Instagram account to, I guess, micro blog. Um, so I guess I'm really excited and attracted to this program because I don't have to fight um, like the Instagram algorithm or anything like that. Like I'll be able to have a place, you know, with the community around me um, that, you know, we can, um, I guess, you know, find what I'm talking about. I don't have to like, you know, battle millions of people or anything like that. So yeah, yeah I'm kind of excited about that for sure. Yeah, and I, and Kyle? I, I was looking for a place that I could, looking for a place that I could tell, tell stories really. Uh, I've noticed a lot over the last 14, 15 months uh, that I've started my business. There's quite a few great stories in terms of how I've been able to tweak situations for the better. And it's one thing to go on okay. a, uh, a government website or, or Forbes or something and read some dry material that, but to show it being applied and, and the impact that it has, mm -hmm. I, I think that's something that I've been really wanting kind of put my finger on next and, and to yeah. kind of be in the community as well. And, and try and help others. Uh, I know that uh, I've seen the good things that, that you have done already with the other bloggers. So number three, please share guys. So we each have sort of our specialties we wanna blog about. Um, myself with my blog, we, with the uh, tourism and travel adventure site sort of blog. So maybe you can just give a, a quick little snapshot of the type of blogs you're gonna do. So. If we can go around the circle on that, let's do uh, Jennifer and then Kyle and then Don, and then uh, we'll see how Suzanne's doing and we'll get that there. So let's start with uh, the shells there. Well, okay, I guess the type of blogger, storyteller um, that I am going to be is like definitely large family, motherhood, you know, blogger, fashion, beauty, um, totally lifestyle, totally diapers. <laughs> I often get asked um how i feed all the kids or like how i school them all so you yeah. know yeah like what products i use what things i love and trust so yeah. i'm definitely excited to have a place where i can showcase it all um yeah and, and myself uh i kind of said there a little bit kind of financial stories uh and and how i have helped people and and how i know i can help people further it's kind of my goal mm -hmm. is furthering British Columbians, trying to help as many people as I can really to to better their situations. The the average Canadian or, or family, they're so busy with their their work, their children, their hobbies, that they how much time do they have to actually focus on uh, their financial situation or learning tax rules or different ways that they can make yep. their investments <laughs> grow right they don't yep. have time because i know i didn't yeah. uh before i got into this career uh so it's my you know full-time uh, career going forward to just help people uh learn all those little things that add up mr don lowen tell us yeah. about what you will be writing about and sharing with uh, the public well i've started out uh on actually how to build a Western saddle. And it, it sort of gives uh, the basic structure on, on that. And I'm, I'm choosing it to be a lead into some, some other stories. And I'd like to interview some of my longtime cowboy friends in the Valley that I know have really interesting stories to tell. 
Yeah. And uh, and I want to um, like I say, weave it into the to the saddle making. I want to use it as a base. Uh -huh. And um, yes, I, I know some really interesting um, authentic cowboys that would probably be a little bit reticent to actually talk live, but I would love <laughs> to tell their story. Yeah. And uh, I've been, you know, um, in the valley for well since I was 16. I, I moved back here, and uh, so yes, that's that's kind of where I see myself going. How is the EMB program? How is the Experience Nickel Valley program? How is it benefiting? Okay, how is it benefiting the community and surrounding region in your eyes? How do you see this program helping out the region? Let's start with you, Don. Uh, I think it's a. There's a lot of untold stories and history that is a lot of times. I mean, you see it in a lot of communities where that history just gets forgotten unless somebody actually speaks up and tells it. Uh -huh. And and so I see myself as being part of that storytelling um, picture, and um, and and inviting people to the beautiful Nicola Valley. I I just think there's so many interesting stories. And not from my own perspective, but from other people's perspective as well. Um, I just think there's no better place on earth to live. And uh, why not share it with enthusiasm? I love that, Don. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. That was awesome. Okay, let's go back and let's bring in the Shell family here. Same question, guys. How do you see the EMV program uh, benefiting uh, your community and the surrounding region? How do you guys see that? I think it could bring visibility to the small businesses and, you know, the community leaders, because uh, I, I have seen evidence of that already in what has taken place in Merritt and the surrounding areas already. Um, you know, just through reading some of the blogs myself, you know, I was introduced to a few businesses yeah. in the Merritt area that I, I would have never went. So it's like an eye opener on, on this. It's sort of bringing, sort of bringing, just like this show, right? It's sort of what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring everyone a little bit more educated on the area and maybe introduce some new personalities to the scene, some new stores to, to go and look and new events, new nonprofits to support. And then again, there's the other side where we're sharing our skill sets with people, right? Okay, guys, so here's one for you. Prior to COVID, we were lucky enough to have an awards gala. And it, yeah. I, I, I haven't had so much fun in a long time, as you guys probably saw. Um, yeah. <laughs> you, all, you all attended. You all attended. Um, what was your, your experience like? And maybe name some of the highlights you saw at the awards gala. Well, um, let's go with you, the Shell family. Give us what you guys saw. Um, I think it was just so much fun. I think it was definitely like the best date night that we've had in a long time. <laughs> um, but it was so, yeah, it was just like, it was so much fun. Um, everyone was just so like kind and like warm and welcoming, definitely. Um, and I also felt like it was super, super informative, like the guest speakers and even things like you were saying, Greg was just, I don't know, I thought it was really interesting, but, and I really loved seeing like everyone's accomplishments and like all of their like hard work, like rewarded and stuff too. Like it was beautiful just seeing like, I don't know, all those people being recognized for all of their efforts and, and celebrated. So that was yeah. a lot of fun for me. I, I enjoyed the, the people that, that I met there. Uh, the food was fantastic, I, I have to say. It was very interesting as well, uh, the learning that took place while we were there. Uh, that was kind of really what I was looking forward to as well, was uh, that guest speaker that you had, the, the keynote speaker, uh, and just what he had to say about uh, how he had impacted uh, you know, businesses as well with, with his own blogging and, and his travels and, and whatnot. Now, it's mm -hmm. not only impacted his own life, but uh, others. Don, we're going to bring you back in there. And there's uh, Suzanne. Don, what did you think of the gala? And, and I sort of have a pretty good idea of a highlight, but maybe you can go around that highlight <laughs> and tell us a little bit about uh, what you thought of that gala and uh, give us some feedback. Well, I was actually quite surprised, you know, like a small town merit to put on a pretty major event like that. And it, it was done so well. Um, and I, I thought the 
it was uh, like the, just to how the whole environment was. You walked in the door, and it was you felt welcome. It felt very um, uh, not so small townish, but more big townish, I guess. I don't know how to put that into words, but um, it, it was honored to be there, and I and I was just a subject of a story. Um, and I, you know, when I think about Tanya, the work that she put into it, um, I was pretty amazed. And uh, yeah, no, I know I was pretty impressed with it. And then my children and my wife were there, and um, it was we were all very impressed with how was how we were honored. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about Suzanne myself. I can Lucky. hear you. Can you hear oh, me? Oh, there you go. Yeah, we got you now. Yay. Excellent. Welcome to the show. I, I, you know what? We're going we're gonna to fire our producer. That's the technical department's problem. And we, were, we weren't happy with them at the beginning, Suzanne. So you just confirmed it. So thank you. <laughs> so Suzanne, why don't you tell our, uh, why don't you tell uh, our viewers a little bit about yourself? Yep. Okay. Um, I work at Mary Printing as an engraver, sign maker. Maker. Uh, I do custom mugs, t-shirts, all kinds of stuff. Right now I'm doing a lot of COVID things like floor graphics and such. Um, okay. I love to cook, create new things and baking for my co-workers. They love it. I, vol yeah. I volunteer at uh, Merritt Speedway. I'm the secretary of the club, have been for probably 10 years I think. Um, I worked the back pit gate and put together race programs and such, gardening, and and there is no such thing as free time. Maybe you mm. can just tell yes. them what, you, what you'll be blogging about. Yeah, well, uh, I'll start with the Merritt uh, Speedway, maybe okay. some local businesses. So what attracted you to the program, Suzanne? Okay, well, I like learning um, new things, and I have always wanted to write, but but I never make the time. And this uh, program okay. is yeah. a great way to learn about the website tools, and it gives me a reason to write. What I'd like to do, is there anything uh, you guys want to share with the audience um, before we let you go and close off the show? Is there anything you'd like to share? Hi. Um, I, can you hear me? Um, uh -huh. I just, I have a, me and my wife are celebrating our 38th wedding anniversary tomorrow. No. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, it's a pretty big week for us. It was uh, Mother's Day, my birthday on Monday, and now our wedding anniversary. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, it's a big week for us. Congratulations, Don, and to your wife, and to men to another thirty-eight. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Thank you for coming, guys. I'm just gonna. I'll let you go if you just say bye. Do a high five, yeah. uh, air pump, and. Uh, Thanks for coming on. And well, that was Kyle Shell, Jennifer Shell, Don Lowen, and Suzanne Snyder. And remember, every Thursday at 7 p.m. on the Experience Nickel Valley Facebook, Facebook page, we will be broadcasting with a different guest. Every single week is a different guest. So we will be having businesses. We're bringing in events. We're bringing in some nonprofits. We're going to bring in some personalities. We're going to bring in small businesses and tourism ventures. But the key is, is you need to follow the Facebook page, the Twitter, and the Instagram so you know when your favorite business is coming on board. Next week, we have co-host Yano Howarth will be taking the stage. And Yano will be sitting down with Denise Kearney from Open Mic at Kukuli Cafe. So tune in next Thursday at 7 p.m. on the Experience Nickel Valley page, and Yano will be joining you with a new guest, and they're going to talk the open mic program, the success, how they're going to move forward, and I'm sure she'll be filling you in a little bit there. Again, my name is Greg Gerard. I'm extremely proud and honored to have been your guest host for this week. Um, it is a live show. We are the producers, the editors, the lighting, the script. We do it all, all from the keyboard. And that's the beautiful thing about live streaming is you've got to flow with the punches and you've got to be able to think and have fun and, and take everything to life. There's a lot worse things in life than losing internet connections. So let's just enjoy our lives. Let's be safe out there. Be positive out there. This is Greg Gerard signing off as your guest host from Nickel Valley Talk.
Take care, be safe, enjoy, and be smart this long weekend. Bye-bye.